Welcome to another edition of Off in the Tin. And we haven't been here for a while because we've been under the weather, sick, and we couldn't smoke a pipe or be on camera or nothing. But we finally, I think we're kind of well enough, right? We're, we're better. We're better, Hitting yeah. there. We're better. So we were going to do this for you guys on Valentine's week. Um, but you know, Valentine, we can consider the whole month Valentine. What the heck? It's called Taste of Temptation by Sutliff, and uh, it's, it's, it has like a Valentine vibe to it. It does. Yeah. It's pretty. I like the the oh the the, the, the packaging. Yeah, pretty. the tin art is is so cool. And I was looking around because we took a little longer, and uh, I don't see many reviews. Uh, there's a review by uh, Matthew uh, from uh, Picking and Piping, but I haven't seen any any other people review it. So hey, let's let's help him out and tell him what this is all about. So all go right. ahead and. Pop the tin. It's one of the easy ones, guys. You like those. I really do. And usually things don't fl don't fly around. Mm -hmm. So look at that. Ooh, I can smell it. So it. tell us about the the tin note. That's what we do second here. Oh wow. You know it smells like maraschino is it maraschino cherries, the ones that are in the jar. Okay, maraschino cherry, yeah, okay. Maybe with a little alcohol in there. Okay. I don't know what they put in there, but that's what I get. Maraschino cherries, okay. Yeah, that's what it tastes. It smells like how yeah. almost tasted. There is cherry. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then there's that uh yeah, there's that little uh um kind of a light alcohol. I mean yeah. I want to say, I mean, this is not light, but I want to say like like a brandy or something like that. Yeah. I mean, when we read it, we actually know what it is, but just so I, I don't cheat and say exactly what it is. Yeah, it has that, but it's very pleasant. It, it is. It's very pleasant. Almost That's like, what I said, a taste. Like a, <laughs> like a cologne. So yeah. this is what it looks like. And go ahead and read them the components and we'll put it in here. Talk about them. Oh, this beautiful. <laughs> I think I... He poured the whole thing I almost. think I poured the whole thing in here. What is it? Well, you're getting gathering yourself over there. I'm going to read. So it's a limited edition release for Valentine's Day. This Surrey Merchant's Taste of Temptation is a sumptuous blend of fragrant Virginias and mellow Cavendish infused with flavors of sherry, oh, and amaretto. Amaretto. All yeah. blended by Sutlip. I'm, I'm already... Excited to so, try this. That was the smell. I didn't want to say because I know that I, I knew what it was. Now this is definitely on more on the wet side. I'm it gonna is. I'm gonna show you. You know when you squeeze it, it stays together. Yeah. And that's how you know for the people that are new to pipe smoking. Maybe they put a little too much amaretto. <laughs> so that means you probably have to dry it. And if we start lighting it up here wow. and and it doesn't doesn't go right away, we'll just take a, a break and through the magic of video, we'll be back when it's dry, but I'm just gonna stuff it like that and see what happens. Um, again, the smell, even when it's, oh yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, of course, when once your brain knows it's amaretto, then you can definitely smell it and smell the cherries. Yeah. See if you smell I it didn't know it was amaretto, but I, I, I knew it was, it was with the smell of cherries, like. And it looks like just, yeah. It looks like Vir uh, Virginia and uh, and Cavendish from what you read. So beautiful colors, just like a light brown and yeah. a little bit darker brown. And a, this is really dark. What is this? That's the that's the Cavendish. That's the Cavendish. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it has. And then the I rest think it's is very the Virginia. Well blended because yeah. it doesn't look one is overpowering the other. And you have some of the you see a little more bright Virginia yeah. and the darker ones, and then the black is that's the Cavendish. Okay, which is. Which is just probably the Virginia that they put it through the process to make it Cavendish because Cavendish is not a leaf. And this is ribbon cut, right? Ribbon cut. Well, you got it. You're getting good at that. You're getting good at that. All right. So we have the moisture down. We have the tin note down. Let's do. I, th I think I'm gonna let my dry at least a ahead, few minutes. Go ahead and let yours dry. <clears throat> I'm gonna fire mine up and <clears throat> see what you give me for the for the room note. We're okay. still using our tampers from. Larry Blackett, exactly. button from your bitches. Bridget. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you know my, you know my accent says all kinds of funny stuff. Uh, we won't edit it out, so you guys can laugh. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not button for your bitches. It's <laughs> button for your bridges. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh boy, do we have fun here? Okay, so we and sweat. and guess what? All joking aside, it was Larry's uh, birthday um, either this week or last week. Oh, yeah, happy so happy birthday. birthday, happy birthday, Larry Blackett. Like yeah, from bridges. you read it from the bridges. No, what does that say? I don't know. Buttons for your bridges. There you go. That is the right one. I'm gonna have to start reading this stuff. And so I keep messing things up. This is for our friends, Stefan Kunk, um, or Kunk, and, but he goes by Steve. So there's his email. Our pipes, uh, since this, um, we're celebrating kind of a Valentine's, we picked the ones that we, he made for us, for both of us. I don't know why it's not, it's not focusing right, or is it my eyes? Anyway. Maybe too, maybe too close. Maybe from too. Czech Republic, and he made this couple pipes, mine being blue. Yours being more of a red. So, the light, the first light. No word, no, no do, no bueno. Oh, it did a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm not tasting anything right away. So, let's see the second one. Well, I'm not smelling anything yet. I kind of figure, I, I hate struggling uh, to make it up. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, it just gets discouraged. So, I just, I'd rather air dry it a little bit. Well, let's, let's see if you get some smell from this one. Since this is a short pipe, I'm actually getting a little bit of the smell. I smell the cherry, very light, not not yeah, not overpowering. Yeah, I smell more of the cherry than the uh, the amaretto, honestly. Nothing like a cold uh, blood red moon, uh, where where you can you can taste in your lips the cherry. That's true. That was so good. Mm -hmm. It was really, yeah, it was encouraging because you could try and lick your lips and yeah. have that taste there. So this is not bad for being a little wet. You know? Are you struggling to keep to keep it lit? No, no. No, that's what I'm saying. It's not bad. Because oh, okay, cool. Normally, I would, I would be lighting it up already. Yeah, I'm moving mine over. So, do you smell a little bit of cherry? Is that it for Rulo? Yes, okay. I, I smell the cherries. Very pleasant. It's, it's not too light. Mm -hmm. It's like in the medium that you can really sense it. Mm -hmm. It's like, like oh, I, I think I smell... No, you can smell the cherry. It, you, you really can. You cannot smell the amaretto from here. You can only smell like the alcohol when mm -hmm. you open the can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You knew there was some alcohol. You just, I didn't know what it was. Well, but I like amaretto though. The taste, I can taste the Virginia, which is a good thing. That means that the topping is just not taking over the whole thing and not letting you taste the tobacco. So what do you taste it tastes mainly? Or is it well blended? So far, just, just a little bit of the Virginia, not a lot of like, uh, I'm not tasting any artificial flavors or anything like that. So that's okay. good. No peppery? No peppery, no, still. Oh, thank goodness. So if you're looking for that peppery, is uh, zero. You have to it's add absent. it. You're gonna have to add a little bit to it. <laughs> I haven't tried mine yet. I'm just going to what he said. Some people, they just add, um, but it's that thing that you don't like. Uh, perique, they just add yeah. perique to whatever. You know, whatever blend they have, they just add perique to it. My pipe is really deep. <laughs> this could take quite a bit of that. That's all right. Goodness, here. You get a, you get a good very, sampling. Then you do be very careful. With the matches? With the matches. One time my match broke, mid-air flew, it was still lit, and got me. Yeah. We edited. <laughs> it, wasn't not, it was not fun. <laughs> we edited that part out, but actually her match broke in one of the shows. Yeah, it did. Fell on her, on her thigh and actually burned her thigh. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. So now, now I'm concerned. And you played it so well that I, I kept playing. I said, "Well, he's gonna, he's gonna edit this." We should play a game. If they can find out the episode that that, that, that I got happened, burnt, we 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 uh, we can do a game where we give you guys a prize for all you kind of detectives want to be there. Yeah. <laughs> I I decided maybe his shorts wearing his shorts is not so good. <laughs> yeah. 
So we'll do that. But um Is mine um does have filter? Yes, both of these have filter. Both of them yeah. have filter? Okay. Just wanted to know. So I can't far, remember whether we actually said on the episode that you that you got burned or not. Probably not, right? No, I don't think so. I think it was cut and I just kept on playing. Like nothing happened. Although I was burning, I was like, oh, this thing burns. <laughs> just keep going. Wasn't fun. So let's do that. Let's do, let's play that game. If you guys can find it, whoever the first one is, and of course I'm gonna have to go by the comment state. Um, if it's stateside, you know, I'll send you uh, some tobacco, something. And uh, if it's um, if it's overseas, mm, I don't know. We'll figure something out because I, I don't want you to get in trouble or have to pay any any type of fees. probably can send you one of like a uh, like a classic pipe like a Dr. Graybo or something like that well, we'll talk about it we'll talk about it oh mine lit up like on my second light so. I know I, I am very impressed this know. even though this is like it feels wet I mean you, you you can touch it and it sticks together it is great I only lit it up twice I've been talking all kinds of nonsense and it's still uh look it's still it's still lit Tell me about the taste. What do you think? It has good taste. Mm -hmm. It has a good taste. It's very flushable. Let me tell you already. There's, there's nothing... I don't see... I don't sense any chemicals or anything like that. Although I'm, I'm, I'm puffing hard because I don't want it to, to go out. You don't have to actually. I was doing the same, but actually you don't have to. This is, this is, this is very easy. Very easy smoke. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to say, just I mean, just an early prediction here. This could make it into our top five aromatics for for this year, unless we have a lot of good ones, because it's rare that the aromatics are um, kind of like this pleasant from the beginning. Don't give you a lot of artificial taste, and you can taste the tobacco. It smells good. It smells. Um, good in the room without giving you that tongue bite and that kind of really hot hot smoke So man, I'm impressed. I was expecting a little yeah. bit more goopy and and hot, hot Yeah, smoke. I was I was expecting to light it up like four or five times mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow Surprising mm. results relaxing I know relaxing This might be a good one to take in the future. We we're talking about going to that cigar lounge. Yes. Awesome. We want to take something that's a pipe that smells good so that people around us might say, hey, what is that? And, you know, maybe, maybe we can convert someone from cigar to pipes. Nothing wrong with the cigars because we had a great one the other day. Yes. That's yeah. a great experience. Yeah. But, hey, the more people we have in pipes, the more, hopefully... Popular becomes and they'll have it, you know. And this cigar lunch we went to, they have nothing that, uh, of pipe. They don't have nothing pipe tobacco. They don't have pipes. They don't have. But they they allowed us. They said that we could. Oh yeah, they said and, and record. They said yeah, you can come and smoke. They said as long as it's tobacco. She's she, the bartender said as long as it's not something illegal. Yeah, you can smoke your pipe in here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very. I mean. By this time, usually... By this time, I'm usually done or drinking some more. Yeah, by this time, it's usually hot or mm -mm. or having some kind of artificial stuff. And we puff it. I mean, when we review it, we try to puff it hard so that we can... Even though some tobaccos are not meant to be... Oh, I'm getting a little it's, bit of a nice taste it's, there. It's hypnotic. You just kind of get into it and just... Yeah. Yeah. See if you can do a little head retro hell. Yeah. You, you get a little more of the taste when you do the retro hell through your nose. Mm -hmm. 
But the cherry, the, the cherry is not, is not there as much. How about the amaretto? No, it's just it, it, it tastes good. Yeah. But softer, somehow. I know that's what what's supposed to happen. Yeah. It's a nice soft. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really good. All right. Well, this one might not be a surprise. What we're gonna give it? Mm -mm. Look at this. It just keeps going. Mine is going to keep going for a long time. My, it's really deep. Yeah. It's like over an inch deep. So, and I only, I didn't stuff it. And I, I, and I packed it. I mean, just normal. I, I wasn't like carefully trying to, I just packed it really quick. You did the same, right? Yeah, and, it was quick. Well, it's pretty well broken down. So yeah. it's cut and it's, and it's not as long. It's just, it's, it's just a good size. All right. Back. It's not that long. You know what? We're we're not gonna. It's not. It's not that long. Well, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not that long. It's that? not that long, and then it has some some. It's not. Yeah. So you see, that's the Virginia. Very simple. Hey, how about if we just give him the verdict already? I don't I, think I we're think, gonna change our mind. I think there's no surprises. Yeah. You ready? I, I don't think I, I am actually. One, two, three. Thumbs up. You want to go first on the stars? You or me? Uh, go ahead. I'm gonna give it four stars. Uh, right off the bat, I think that it's, it is a great uh, aromatic there. I think I'm gonna put it in the rotation just like I do with the, um, with the, what is that coffee one? Um, oh man, I forgot the coffee one that, that, that we reviewed that we really like. San Espresso. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, for the aromatics. Since I, I, you know, oh, I like the other stuff better than ones that are not aromatics, but. There's a few in there that if they're like this and they give a nice smell and they don't, you know, they don't have the artificial, I put them in the rotation. So this one can go there easily. Man, this was is an easy smoke. And I think I like that little um, red or cherry kind of thing. It's, yeah, it's very pleasant. It reminds me of a lounge. Yeah. Going to an house and having a drink and smoking a pipe or a cigar. So four stars for me. How about you? I'm going to give it a 4.25. Oh wow! And a quarter. Wow. I love the packaging. It's, it's sexy. <laughs> I find it sexy. I mean, she looks like how you say badass. Badass. I didn't want to say, but we it's already the truth. said. Well, I already it's, said it's, that. It's already it's badass. Look at that little flowers on the side. Very, very cute. Yeah. Um. Very good for. Oh, it has a card. Yeah. It has cards too. Yeah. And I like cards. I really do. I like that the ribbon. I do like for some reason to have that moist in there. You look like it. Okay. I really do. The smell was delicious. Mm -hmm. You can really smell cherry. Yeah. I mean, when they wrote it, they meant it. It, yeah. it, it really is true. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they said we put this in there and then you just wear it. It is absent. Yeah. But this was not absent. This was very much present. You can smell the alcohol. Um, I could not detect that it was MRI, but I knew there was some sort of um, alcohol in there. Um, but the cherry was a little bit over the alcohol, mm -hmm. I think, the smell. Um, great room aroma. I think that you can, sm you can smoke it inside or outside. And I think it was very well blended. Mm -hmm. There is no back taste or aftertaste mm -hmm. um, in your in your tongue, or even when you when I did the rage or hell, it just didn't have any bad taste at all. Very smooth when you smoke it. Um, it doesn't give you anything like you want to put it down. You want to continue. So that was that's a, a a plus when you're smoking something that you just find it so pleasurable. And I, I felt really like very um, relaxed and mm -hmm. comfortable smoking it. Um, right now, after smoking it, you don't have any aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Even after yeah. I stopped, I haven't even drank. Or more coffee. importantly, no bad aftertaste. No, exactly, mm -hmm. no bad aftertaste. So uh, to me, it was a win-win. They did a great job with this one. So kudos. Yeah. Um, I don't think they there was nothing they could do to even make it even better. No, no. Uh, unless I... they put some roses on the outside <laughs> for me and stuff. I mean, <laughs> They could do that if they wanted that uh, and to me it was great great or, or or they or they could like label it there lady fire kind of looks like you let's see you see look at that yeah i wish i wish i wish i had the red eyes like she does oh so anyway yeah all goods for this i even put it down and took a sip of water came back to it i have a feeling that this i can 
from the second light, I can smoke it all the way down to the ashes. Yeah. I, I have I have a feeling that this would be that type of uh, of a blend. Is there anything that you could say that they could add or subtract to improve the? No, no, no. Because um, this for the for the people that are gonna like this, mm -hmm. it's just right the way it is. For someone that doesn't like aromatics, I would say I would just add Latakia to it and that would kind of that will make it just even right. tone down more so that definitely won't get as hot and uh, and you get a little bit of that Latakia. That would be me. If yeah. I wanted to make it perfect, I just add a little bit Latakia for my taste. Yeah, the nicotine hit is not that high. No, this, so, this was easy. So yeah. if you want more off to it, you should be, you, you should add to it. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, but it, it is delicious the way it is. It's I, just the way I prefer. Our friend Everett, he, he can probably add some Rustica. Cause he, he likes that kind of stuff uh, strong. So add some Rustica to it. Uh, our other friends that love a haunted bookshop, they can add that to it. <laughs> but like I said, for people that like aromatics, they're just going to leave it like it is because that's for, that's what it was meant for to be. an aromatic you didn't have any of that burnt or anything like at no, all no no yeah, this was, was this was great this was great so guys um like i said we're back on schedule hopefully uh we'll, we'll, we'll be we'll be looking out for uh things that come out you know what not a lot of actually new pipe tobaccos that came out during this there was a a uh, crumble cake number five i think it was like a bourbon, bourbon barrel something uh but it sold out really fast, so I couldn't get my hands on it. Um, but there hasn't been that many new ones. So, uh, but if something new comes up, we'll we'll review it, and we have something special that we're gonna do uh, soon. Uh, hopefully, we can do it soon, and you guys will see. Hopefully, you will enjoy. But until next time, bye. And you say. <laughs> and I say, give us thumbs up. Don't forget at the very end, subscribe if you like uh, our content. We will see you soon. I'm sorry that we uh, we couldn't deliver this sooner uh, because we were just a little sick. We're in Did bed. Say it was like, yeah. Was like, um, <clears throat> we gave it to one another because we're always hanging out. Yeah, we like to hang out with <laughs> each other. Just hanging out sure. all the time, so we we really really got sick. So I apologize for that. Um, and until next time, you all remember to stay lit. Bye. Bye.